Are you kidding me? So, Nintendo is at it again. And I don't mean some of the good stuff or that the Pokemon just came out or that we're waiting for Smash Brothers patiently like a little seven-year-old kid waiting for that Christmas day. No, I mean Nintendo is at it again and they just sued a couple for $12 million. Hold on, pump the brakes real quick. $12 million? Like, who is this couple on the web is, is the couple had two sites that were doing ROMs, loveroms.com and the other one was called loveretro.com. Yes, ROMs have supposedly been illegal for a long time, but everybody and a grandmama, let's be real, got ROMs on a phone, if you got Android, or computer or PC. Matter of fact, was it back in the day in science class, I used to play Kirby in the computer and science class. If y'all remember not too long ago, was it earlier this year or last year, Nintendo just put the whole Hulk in the SmackDown on the Legend of Zelda game, the remake, I think that was the Link to the Past that uh, a, in, a group of indie creators did. And I'm just like, well, when is it gonna end, Nintendo? Like, y'all really need to be hiring some of these folks. Instead of breaking everybody down, let somebody in the fold, let somebody get a shot. Because obviously these people are really passionate now, I know the ROMs are a separate story, and the whole thing with ROMs has been, if you got the game, then it's okay to have the ROM, but a lot of games we couldn't even get in the States. Like, I got Star Ocean, the first one, and don't sue me, Nintendo, but I'm just saying, it's somewhere on a cloud somewhere, and I'm glad that I got them somewhere on a cloud somewhere. So, as a side note, if you don't already have the ROMs, you better go out there and try to find them, because Nintendo is laying it, the smack it down. It comes down to money, which everything comes down to it. Now that Nintendo is doing the N64 with the ROMs coming out, they already got the Super Nintendo, and they have the regular Nintendo, and you know the GameCube is in Horizon as well, then you already know that that's why they're doing that. And not to mention that their online has a lot of these ROM-related type games, so they just want to put the squeeze down because they know that you can, again, hack your phone or you can hack your computer and it's not really that hard. One of my favorite sites was the first one to go, that MU Paradise, RIP MU Paradise, tell Stan, the man, I said hello.